Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today, <laughs> we got new stop five. I was sitting there, you saw the first video I did. I was sitting, the dog's probably in it. I was sitting there going, I don't know what I'm going to do for the second video. And just as I do that, I go back to the YouTube old page and nuke. Nuke top five like an angel in the night, just swoops right in. Perfect timing. To do this, so we're gonna get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. This is top five scary ghost videos. So scary, yo go boom boom. We go get right into this, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button, subscribe button, comment, think down below. Let's go. Come on, nukes. One last goodbye. Back in September, veterinary student Mary Carmen Flores from Araquipa, Peru adopted a sweet little Labrador that she named Scott. The two quickly bonded but only enjoyed a few months together before Scott was tragically found dead in Mary Carmen's home. Mary Carmen was absolutely devastated by the sudden loss of the very healthy dog and wanted an explanation. She suspected that some horrible person might have actually poisoned her dog. So Mary Carmen started searching through her CCTV footage to find answers. But instead, she found something else entirely. Something she was not prepared for. This is just as they're arriving home as they're just about to find the dog. But there's this misty dog right here, and it's oh my god. I don't need to see the person reacting to the, the odor of the dog actually in tears crying to this. Oh my heart. My heart can't take it. My heart I my heart ain't meant for things like this. <laughs> <laughs> the CCTV footage shows Mary Carmen at the gate as her family arrives home. Her dog Scott can be seen happily greeting the group. But here is where it gets weird. Dead by this point. Am I right with this? He was already found. He was already. He was already dead by this point. Either they were just about to find him, or this is after. But by my memory, was someone the first time he saw us? Was someone said he was just about to be found? Because this footage was recorded after the dog had passed away. In tears, Mary Carmen explains that she believes Scott's spirit came to say goodbye to her and her family. She shared the video to TikTok in dedication to the sweet dog's memory. To this day, Mary Carmen still has no idea of what caused Scott the Little Labrador's death, but she's grateful to have found the footage of Scott's final greeting and goodbye to the family. Wrong turn. I'm gonna say, uh, usually, I know people want to be critical of videos like this. They want to die. They want to debunk them. They want to like tell people it's not real. What I say to that is if this gives her peace, if this gives her peace of mind, if this makes her happy seeing this because she knew, she believes the dog got to say goodbye to her one last time. And maybe in that moment she says goodbye to the dog one last time by she posts in this video. Just let her have it. Let her have it. I, it. It will. Just let her have that so that she has peace. That's what I say. Oh, I got flash bugging around me. 
Dirt bike rider Ethan's TikTok is dedicated to videos of his biking trips into the sand dunes and woods of Oregon. But one day when he's 15 miles out into the woods and completely alone, he experiences some is this the one way about the again? Something that frightens him to his core. <laughs> This is where most people would turn around. If you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side, that's where all the gold is waiting over there. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Could be missing out what's on the other side. I wouldn't want to hear that. I wouldn't want to hear some growl or something as I try to get over a tree. I'll be like, oh, okay, you don't want me here. Okay, that I'll, whatever this is, doesn't want me here. I'll go. It's fine. I don't want to deal with the problem. Just, I'll, I'll go. Just, 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 my apologies. <laughs> Holy shit, someone just screamed for help. Okay, maybe I haven't seen this one. I've seen the second part of it. I don't must. I must not have seen this. I've not seen this part. Hello. Those are screaming for help. Ethan is shocked when he hears strange human-like sounds coming from the woods. He believes it's a voice saying, hey, and help. I'd be missing out what's on the other side. I don't hear the hey, but I do, I do hear the screams that sound like they're saying help. Hello? Ethan then hears strange movement in the brush that seems to be quickly moving towards him. He decides to just get out of there and is even so spooked that he runs right off the path and almost ends up falling right down the hill. When he posts the video to his TikTok page, he wonders if he might have had an encounter with a skinwalker or some kind of cryptid. Because you see, it's rumored that a strange creature wanders these woods. But many of his viewers just shrug it off. They say that he probably just heard a bobcat or... Yeah, it was just a no, it was, I would not have been, I, my immediate thought would not have been skinwalker. If I heard that, I'm like, oh, there was some animal or a person in there who just did not want me to find them. And not, I was doing something that did not want to be known. But I, I don't want to, I would not have gone to, oh my god, I heard a noise, it must have been a skinwalker. That, no, no, that, that, that's a, you're thinking way differently than I, any normal person is right there, if you're, that's your way of thinking. Maybe even a peacock. He heard both then. He actually heard both at the same time. Now, whether it was just a bobcat or a peacock or not, many of Ethan's viewers want to see more. They ask Ethan over and over to return to that same spot in the woods to see what happens. So finally, Ethan decides to return but he makes the very bad decision to return late in the day as the sun is starting to set. As you might guess, it did not go well. This part we've seen in the last couple of videos. This part. Something happens that no one 
can explain. Oh god, phones are still here. I don't like this at all. Oh god, they're... Also, this can easily be explained because what's about the hobby is a person about to show up. Just a person, and that's all it is. There's even more bones than last time. It's been a few months since I filmed the last video. Because honestly, I've just been too scared to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. Oh! It's just dark as hell in here. I'm probably gonna turn around soon. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude, this trail going on forever. It just got really quiet really fast. getting dark when Ethan finds himself in a field and tries to decide which way to go next. All of a sudden it gets really quiet as even the crickets seem to stop chirping. Suddenly an ominous looking figure walks right out of the darkness of the tree line. Terrified, Ethan gets out of there as quickly as he can. So what do you think is going on here? Did Ethan find the creature that he heard months earlier? Could this be what many believe to be a skinwalker? I would think if it was a skinwalker or anything, right? They would have went after him. They didn't. Because they had time to move. He couldn't get the, his motorbike whatever to start. He just couldn't, he couldn't do it. So, yeah, that's time to get him to move. But they had time to go out and get him. But they didn't. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Probably is a hoax. Or just be a person. There were people who live in the forest. You heard there was a Mr. Bone story on someone who lived in the forest, like 20, 30 years, something like that. Um, so that should just be a person, and then living in the forest, and he could destruct them. You decide. The devil down in the hole. Andrew Smith regularly sets out to explore secluded tunnels and caves in the beautiful landscape of Arizona. On one of his trips, he finds an abandoned mining cave and decides to take a look inside. What happens next is downright chilling. Nope, done. Done. That's all I need. That's all I need. My man, once I hear a scream in a fucking cave, gone. Gone. I am turning around and running for my life. I don't need nothing like that. No. No, he gonna keep going. I know it. He looks like someone's stupid. He looks stupid. Stop being stupid. He's just too stupid. He's just too stupid. Oh, I forgot to mention this. People new here. I got merch. I got I got merch. If you're interested in getting some merch, link in the description below. I just I forgot to mention it in the beginning. I'm supposed to mention it. I I, I plan to mention it, but it just it slipped my brain. I'm filming this early in the morning. I'm just not fully awake. I'm fully not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. I'm fully not working. Brain's not working. You know what I mean. The link's in the description below if you want some Snyder Inc. merch. something run up on you and attack you. You stupid ass. 
even the screams now, and you still keep going. What the hell is wrong with you? You deserve to have something happen to you. I hope some reach out and grabs your ass. <laughs> Imagine your level stupidity. You're just going. You don't even know where you're going. <laughs> Only in this man's mind would he go, I don't know if I can get back here. Well, I better keep going deeper. Into the cave. Into the cave? Ah, uh, into the cave. I'm gonna add that because there's some weird people here who got a weird mindset. Maybe that's also just me. Maybe I'm the one that does, but I heard that and felt like I needed to add into the cave. But this man is going deep into this cave, even though he does think he'll know his way back. Absolute moron. <laughs> Mining goes me like I don't know who this guy. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know. It's like they're talking to the boss, the boss, ghost boss. And because a bunch of mines, right? So a bunch of former mine workers just all there. And then their boss, who's also a ghost, walked up and was like, "Who the hell is this guy? Who's this guy you bought here?" It's like we don't know who this guy is. Would you leave leave us alone? Like, we didn't bring this guy. Like, listen, we didn't do it. We have nothing to do with this guy. We don't know who this guy is at all. Andrew suddenly hears the fact he didn't like get lost is his own miracle. There's a scream followed by the chilling sound of running footsteps somewhere deep within the cave. This isn't Andrew's first cave explorer, and he actually manages to keep calm and continue his trek through the tunnels. But the sounds become increasingly more disturbing. Andrew's camera captures what sounds like several voices whispering to him. One of the voices even seems to say, we don't know who this is. Andrew searches the tunnels, but he can find nothing to explain the ominous sounds. Since we don't know the history of the abandoned mine or why it was abandoned in the first place, it leaves you to wonder just what happened there and what could be the source of all these spooky noises. But as to whether it's real or not, as always, I leave that up to you to decide. We need scary videos, so if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Email link in the description. The Dead Next Door. These next creepy videos were recorded by a woman from the Philippines who wishes to remain anonymous. The woman had just moved into an apartment with her partner when she quickly realized that something was very wrong there. First, her dog begins to continuously bark at their door even though there's nobody there. And whenever she's alone, someone knocks on the door as if trying to enter. One night she hears a child running through the hallway and watches as the door handle moves by itself. She then hears a woman shouting at the child. So she finally decides to grab her phone and record. Every time she looks through her peephole, 
She finds no one there that would explain what she's hearing. Now it should be noted that there were two apartments on the floor, but the other apartment was mysteriously and completely vacant. I don't know if I believe that part. More also, there's a there's a turn. I think it just be behind the turn. That's not the only hallway. That can't be the only well, that's not how it would work. So there's a turn area. They could just be there yelling at each other. That doesn't undo your fate. That doesn't mean it's ghosts. No one else lived on this floor, so there should be no one in the hall, no child, no woman making these sounds. So the tenant shows her footage to her husband and they alert the building security guard. But he too finds nothing and no one to explain what she's captured on video. There's no one on that floor. Another late night and this time the woman is startled awake by loud screaming and crying again coming from the hallway right outside her door. What she captures is absolutely chilling. A child can be heard screaming and a woman can be heard sobbing. Loud banging echoes through the hallway. Horrified, the woman contacts security immediately. When the guard watches the footage, he goes pale. He breaks down and tells her that on the same day 12 years ago, a woman and her seven-year-old daughter brutally lost their lives in the other apartment on that same floor. It was suspected that the father had ended their Watch that footage the first time, right? Didn't do anything of it. Didn't, didn't think to mention that part. Then he sees this, where a woman is screaming and the girl... and the mother's apparently sobbing. And then he's like, oh! Oh, that, okay, well let me tell you the story about how these two... how, how this child and woman died. And I'll explain you why the apartment's vacant. Uh, fucking geniusness by this, uh, security guard there, not to mention that. God damn, that is terrifying, no, to hear. Could you imagine that? You hear a woman and a child screaming, knowing you're no one else there? That would be goddamn terrifying. I'm, I'm moving out. Your lives, but he was never caught. And that is why the other apartment had been left empty for years. Terrified by the incident and what she had captured on video, the woman decided to share her story on the internet. So, could the spirits of the woman and her little girl be trapped, condemned to experience their tragic end over and over, never able to move on? Let me know what you think. It could also be, right? Like this is just another thing. It could be just they're not able to move on until the guy is caught. Or they find out what happened to the guy. <laughs> the reason the dog's barking is because he sees sense of danger. Even though they're not there, he senses maybe a sense of danger. Oh, that's what dogs do, they're meant to protect. So the dog senses danger. Barking. Senses it. You can't do anything about it. School of the Dead. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Hiro and Tomo from the YouTube channel Omegatoki Film set out to investigate an abandoned school that sits on top of a mountain somewhere in the countryside of Japan. The investigators don't know why the school was left abandoned, but rumors say that a student took her own life inside the school and that her tragic spirit still walks the hallways. Curious visitors have... I must say, because I, I can't think that's the only time that's ever happened with school, someone took their life inside a school. Pretty sure the school doesn't just end after that. That'd be really, 
Be weird. Pretty sure they're like, oh, someone took the light. Well, I can't. I'm like, well, find a new scope. Got to find a new one. I've reported an alarming amount of paranormal events including the high-pitched laughter of children and the apparitions of young boys and girls watching down from the upstairs windows. In one dark room in the basement, a long desk and chair sit creepily in the middle of the room. This room is said to be so intensely haunted that it has sent previous visitors running from the property in fear. Together with their cameraman, Hiro and Tomo entered the building and soon began to hear strange sounds and voices. After having explored the main and second floor of the school, they finally head into the basement in search of the infamous most haunted room in the entire school, the desk room. めっちゃ人いると思ったんだけど。うん。なんか人がいる空気みたいな。うん。すさまじかったんだけど今。なんだこの空間は。もう絶対これだね。これだよね。誰かがいたずらでさ、ま、置いた。とも十分考えられるような
I need to go there myself. I need to go there by myself. See, the people going there, people is too stupid. It's too. I know that's too smart. That's too smart for me. I can't do. That. I need to be stupid. I need to do. Go there uh, with people. I, I gotta go there by myself. That's what I gotta do. It was a very bad idea. As soon as Hero goes back into the school, he says he feels like he's entered a horror game. And when he gets to the second floor, his fears seem to become a reality. Don't even jump me! Oh. There was someone there! I saw someone! There was someone there! God damn it, you did it again! You can always do it! You know where to look! You always find a video that will, that will, that will make me jump! No, you haven't had, no, there hasn't been one but in a while that actually full on fucking gave me a heart attack. I showed a clip of that one, you have to go down a bit a while to find out. But there's a clip of when I actually legitimately fucking like, get scared. That one made me jump though. Holy shit. <laughs> In a split second, a dark shape appears to be standing. Yeah, right there. That is a that is a big guy. That is a that is a figure right there. And the inside one of the rooms, but whoever or whatever it is disappears before the investigator can even blink. Hero runs over and searches the area. But there's no one there. There is also no exit that the person could have taken from that room. Now shaken up by the ordeal, Hero takes a deep breath and decides to get his investigation done as quickly as possible so that he You got your investigation done. That's all you need, my man. You did your part. You got your figure. You'll never actually know what the person is, what it is you captured. No, you just saw the figure that's all you needed he can leave the spooky school he heads straight downstairs and back into the creepy basement room from their last visit and this is when things take an even creepier turn When Hiro takes a seat on the chair, he suddenly feels what he describes as a presence watching him from inside the basement. He hears it's like someone made that. So the figure is standing like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He's sad and he's like, ah, oh, he did it. You gotta mess with him now, get it. There's a noise and looks, but the sound is not captured on camera. But suddenly just then, a horrifying pale face slides out from underneath the desk. Hero makes a run for it. And with that, the Omegatoki team has had enough, and they leave 
to just go home. Now, whether you believe Japanese paranormal encounters are real or not, the footage is most definitely very creepy, and it certainly freaked me out. So, you can watch this entire three-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. Window to the Soul This next mysterious video was shared to the internet over 15 years ago. The video shows a group of friends hanging out somewhere in the city of Thessaloniki in Greece when the camera captures something they simply can't explain. Oh my god, this is old! Okay. Did you see it? At first, everything seems completely normal. But then a bizarre figure of a man appears in the window. Now, the easy explanation would be that it's just the reflection of a poster that's hanging on a wall opposite the window. But when the cameraman later pans back to the window, the man has disappeared. The cameraman posted the... It also, because you could also go, oh, it's fake. But then my response is they use, like... He doesn't seem to focus on it. He kind of just moves right back, like literally, like he looked at the. Like he panned up, like he panned to look at the dude who was singing and then went right back to showing the guy with guitar. So I don't know. Could be fake, but I, I don't think so. I don't know. But then I have no explanation to explain how I get there, so it probably is fake. I just don't have an explanation because I don't have an explanation. The video to YouTube, but has never posted anything since. So, it seems that the video and its creepy capture will remain a mystery. The Abandoned Graveyard Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back on another investigation. This time at the allegedly haunted Vicksburg Cemetery in Renville County, Minnesota. The old graveyard is abandoned, overgrown, and hidden away deep in the Minnesota woods. In the 1870s, the cemetery was part of the thriving town of Vicksburg, but the village is now nothing more than a ghost town, perhaps quite literally. You see, visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing and hearing supernatural activity, and locals warn tourists to stay away from the graveyard at night. Midwest Ghost Hunter... It went, oh, you told me not, oh, well, I have to then, sorry, I have to now. You told me not to, I have to immediately now go there. At night, it's just part. It's just the law. It's just the way the law works, and that's that's the way it's gonna go. AKA Ian soon finds out why. All right, entering the cemetery. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. Oh my gosh. This whole grave is in shambles. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I just heard you. Ian finds a headstone that seems to have been smashed to pieces. And when he asks whether the headstone has been vandalized, a quiet little voice seems to whisper, Yeah. <laughs> The investigator is shocked by what he just heard. He believes that the spirit he is talking to might be associated with the smashed headstone. So he tries again. If you're still here, could you tell me your name? Because unfortunately there's, there's really no way for me to tell. I really want, don't want to dig around your grave shambles. Because I don't want to damage it any further.
You don't have to be shy, ma'am. As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. But that's okay. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Whoa. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I heard that. I heard you once again. Whoa, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. Ian asked to hear the spirit's voice one more time. And this time a soft voice seems to answer, it's lonely here. Ian decides to explore more of the cemetery and when he reaches another gravestone, something happens that he just can't explain. Oh, whoa, whoa! What the hell was that? Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! That sounded like the fence. Did you just rattle this fence? What's your name? Here, I could try to read your grave. What does that say? Nanny? Is your name Nanny? <gasps> Whoa. Okay. I take that as a yes. Thank you. Is there anybody else that's buried here? <gasps> Whoa, I just heard your voice. Could you say it once more? Dude, oh my god, I just heard you again. I just received an intelligent The little girl, whoever this little girl is, she's very communicative. She wants to talk. Intelligent response from what sounds like a ghostly little girl and now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. Nanny Bickle, who passed away at the age of five, and Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. After the fence surrounding two gravestones rattles on its own and the voice of a little girl seems to respond, Ian decides to take some pictures. What happens next? is absolutely unnerving. Pose for the photo. Could you smile? All right, I'm gonna count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One, two, three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty little girls staring into the camera from the grave. Okay, okay, here's my here's honesty. This one, this here. Do you remember? Do you all? It's way past. It's way before. Like in the very first one of the very first videos, there was a little doll inside this like abandoned um, abandoned building. A very old very old video so that it, it, it looks like that doll okay this looks like a doll these look like dolls like you put dolls in a ghosty um i'm gonna try to fix this if you put like pictures of dolls and you add like a filter to make them look like ghosts i don't think that's a thing but you know what i mean it doesn't look like they don't look like ghosts of people gravesite they both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair, and dark beady eyes. In the photo taken afterwards, they are completely gone. Two misty apparitions that look like little girls appear in one of Ian's pictures, sitting right next to what he believes is their own gravestone. So is old abandoned Vicksburg Cemetery truly haunted? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen,
as it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.